Professional investors do not invest in things that they don't know. They understand their circle of competence and they are not anxious to risk their hard-earned money on something that just sounds cool. Taking passes is just as important when it comes to investing. And this is also the very mental model that Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett take and limit to what they invest in. By the way, by professional investors, I'm not referring to hedge fund managers. I'm referring to retail investors who know what exactly they're doing and that's why they're excelling. Our circle of competence is where one has the greatest familiarity. It is the subject matter that matches one's skills and expertise. Just like every businessman, they should concentrate most of their time and attention to the one business that they are specialized in. That is where they have their competitive advantage and will give them the best chance of succeeding. Similarly, in TJI, we deal with stocks and options, but we do not touch areas such as forex or commodities because that is not our forte. Sometimes we must learn to accept the fact that we may not be familiar with everything there is that makes money. Tiger Woods doesn't try to play soccer. Neither does Lionel Messi compete in the PGA. All can make money, but the question is, can they win it? Too many people feel embarrassed to take passes, but not for us. As an investor, you must be willing to say, nope, I'm not familiar with this and I should not be touching it for now. Or that some things are genuinely too hard for me to understand for now. I should learn more about it before diving into it. Everyone's got to know his own limitations at the stage that he is at. You can only play your A game in what you're competent at. That is of course not an excuse not to learn anything further. But the message you are trying to drill across is not risk your hard-earned money on things you are not familiar with for now. In the context of investing, so let's say if you don't understand how fundamental analysis works, perhaps you should just buy a market ETF. If you don't quite understand how options work, you should not even get started with them at all. This is nothing different just as in our lives. If you are not trained to pilot a plane, then don't think about sitting in a cockpit. If you do not know how to drive, then just take the public transport. And if that means that we are going to reach our destination later, then so be it, because at least we get to reach our destination safely, isn't it? The very wrong thing would be to want to reach the destination earlier but yet not willing to learn how to drive properly or how to get there properly. That said, a lot of people dispensing investing advice are missing the whole point altogether. Just because they can't drive, they insist that taking the public transport is the only way to go. And for those who can drive but can't fly a plane, they insist that flying a plane is more dangerous than driving a car. But there are actually more car accidents compared to plane accidents. So it is really about how competent you are as an investor that determines what choices are available that are safe for you to take. You may not be qualified now, but if you have the will to learn, don't let anyone else tell you that it cannot be done. Yes, perhaps more people are going to fail at getting a pilot license as compared to a car driving license, but that itself doesn't mean that it can't be done. And it also doesn't mean that flying a plane is more dangerous than driving a car. We must understand the difference. So to tell someone not to trade options because it is dangerous is akin to telling someone not to attempt to fly a plane because that is dangerous. Yes, perhaps for most of us or even all of us, if we are not trained on how to fly a plane and we attempt to do so, I think it will be disastrous. But to claim outright that no one should learn how to fly a plane because it is dangerous, that is a different matter altogether. I hope you get my point by now. Recognize that to become a successful investor is a marathon, not a journey of a few weeks. Learn the foundations and slowly move up to higher levels when you feel comfortable. While we are comfortable at what we are doing now with both stocks and options, we didn't start off with options initially until we had a firm grasp at investing in stocks itself. Everyone who got to where he is had to start from where he was. That said, it is perfectly fine if one prefers to always just take the public transport. But we just want to re-emphasize that it is very wrong to want to reach your destination earlier, yet not willing to put in the time and effort 
to learn how to do so properly. And when most people fail by doing something that they are incompetent with to begin with, they later on rather just dismiss it altogether and say that it doesn't work. It is always easier to blame the tool itself rather than the method because that way it will make us feel better about ourselves. It is not about the size of the circle that, mat that matters, but rather how well you stick to your own circle of competence. Remember, the point here is to stay alive and get to your destination using the tool that you have set yourself up for. As long as we stick to our circle of competence, we will eventually reach our destination.